What a do, Noob Gaming crew. This is your host with the most Noob Gaming here. and Welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K20. Last time that I was on here, I was actually uh, creating some shoes and stuff. So we're actually going to be starting, continuing that journey again. For all the sneakerheads that are out there, man. I definitely, I want to do a little something, something. So, But thank you guys for tuning in for today's episode. And also, for showing the support on the last video. Got a couple likes in and a couple of views, so... Thank you so much for tuning into that part of the episode and again showing the love for the new gaming crew. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're you know, been, a, if you have been a supporter since day one, welcome back and continue to keep showing up and showing the love. So right now we're gonna be uh, doing a request um, to do the UNC three. So uh, definitely, I really do like Jordans. I am a huge uh, Jordan. Uh, I don't want to say a Jordan fanatic, but I, eh, well, I like Jordans, put it like that, but I don't, I don't like it, I'm not obsessed with them, but I do like the way that the shoes are, but anyways, so we're going to get started here with the Jordan 3s, it's a simple shoe, um, concept, simple concept, uh, so now we're going to get down to business here, so we're going to make the UNC 3s, now the UNC 3s, they were released this uh, past Saturday, uh, March 7th, uh, 2020, and they're all white uh, with a powder blue, the UNC uh, college blue uh, colorway, you know, go Tar Heels, uh, so uh, we're going to start this off here, so the material by default is going to be, let's see, so we're dealing with, okay, so we're dealing with the logo. So the logo is definitely going to be a fabric material because of the stitching. So you got to take into consideration of the materials as well on here. So this game is pretty deep when it comes down to detail. I will say that. Um, team colors. Let's see. Which team do I know that has the powder? Nah, that's not it. I need that light blue. Let's see. Is this it? Nah, that's more like a South Beach kind of blue. Hornets, Potter, that should do. Jazz, uh, too vibrant. But I think the Hornets blue kind of suits the, the the Jumpman logo here. So we're going to go with this one. And then for the heel logo, um, is definitely a powder blue as well. So the material for the heel is going to be a... Let's see. It's going to be a nice, I guess, a rubber or a dull, actually more like dull plastic in the back. So we're just going to take this here and do the same thing. So it's going to be a powder blue like a baby blue. So you got baby Carolina blue going on the tongue and then also on the heel uh, logo. So now that we got that down packed, so the we're working on the shoe eyelet accent. So the eyelets, um, definitely those already are gonna be a, uh, definitely a, a semi shiny type of plastic. Um, so we're going to do that. And then the color palette. So we're going to do team colors. And it's going to be a powder blue as well. And after we get started with the powder blue, we're going to get deeper into let's see, the shoe eyelets. So the shoe eyelets, basically where the laces, the top three rows of laces are, well, four technically, um, we're going to get started with that as well. So we're going to go back to the team colors and get the sky blue. And those, actually, the material for those are going to be a semi-shiny plastic because that's what it's made out of. Shoe eye stay, same thing. It's going to be a semi-shiny plastic. And again, the colorway is going to be powder blue. Now, um... We're going to go into the lace. So the laces could be two things. It could be either powder blue or white. Honestly, I just keep it a crispy 
colorway, and that's going to be white all day, every day. So, uh, of course, the material for the laces are going to be um, fabric. Um, the fabric material is, is, is key. So we're going to go back to the team colors. Although that does look pretty fresh, we're still going to get that white, though, that crispy white. So now we're going to the tongue lining. Tongue lining will be uh, powder blue. So we'll go back to the team colors. That will be that. All right. So let's see, tongue lining actually, the thing about the lining, it will be, I don't know, should it be velvet? I don't know. Or should it be mesh? Nah, I think it should be fabric because it's a different type of material that they use for the in, inside of the shoe. So I'm going to go with that. Just stick with fabric. The tongue, however, is going to be a... Uh, it's it's going to be an actual leather. And then the team color again, we're going to take that, turn that into white here. And then lining, see so team colors. So the lining on the inside of the shoe, I would have to say it's gonna be white. It's gonna be white for this one. Because when you think about it, it's, it's already a, a clean cut shoe. As so I'm actually pulling up a picture of it right now so that way it can be as accurate as possible because that's, what, that's what's really key here. So let's see. So we have UNC threes came out for this month. Okay, so we're going to shout out to Sneaker Bar Detroit for the for the info, the four one one here. So apparently with the shoe, the detail of the shoe, the inside will be navy. So where the tongue lining is, it will be navy. Um, it's definitely needed. So we're gonna go with navy. And the back of the shoe uh, needs navy as well. So we made a little bit of a mistake, but it's a good thing that we went back to the picture so that way we can you know, get accurate shots of the shoe. Um, now as far as the inside, uh, the tongue behind the tongue is not that light blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the tongue lining and we're going to go back to the color palette. So where we are, it's like this off gray, like this off grayish blue. So we're going to bring this up a little bit higher, like about that tone, maybe a little bit darker. Right there should be good. That looks accurate. So we're going to take that shoe and just put that there for the color. So that matches perfectly. Um, and so now that, now that we have this, normally there would be some type of a lining that goes around the jump man, but you can't have that feature uh, on a 2K20. But uh, we're definitely going to going to get down to, to business here with uh, the rest of it. So uh, the inside of the shoe is still white, so it's it's still good to go. So now that we've covered the tongue and the lining, now we need to go back to the uh, the heel, the heel logo. And so the heel logo is actually going to be a navy color, like an off navy. So we're going to go back to the color palette, and we're going to try to maneuver the colorway like this, maybe a little bit lighter. There we go. So that should do. So now that we got that as a heel logo, we're ready to go and stuff. So now we're going to back out and go down to the collar. So the collar here, um, definitely going to be looking at some of this stuff here. So, of course, there's default, there's rubber and whatnot. So this is actually a leather shoe. So we're going to turn that into leather, go back to the team colors and turn that white. Um, and then afterwards, we get to the heel, and the heel team colors, again, that is going to be white as well. Um, 
so now that we've covered that, we can back out and do the toe. So the toe, team colors, is most definitely going to be white. So we're going to keep that white. Uh, actually, in the material of that is going to be a... I'm going to leave that as a rubber. I'm going to leave that as rubber. All right. Now, the overlay accent, I'm going to take that material and turn that into, let's see, default rubbers, double plastic. Because it's really not a plastic. It's more like some type of a off leather it's not fully patent leather but it's like a leather so we're just gonna leave it at that and we're gonna do the team colors boom so we're gonna do black here or better yet turn this into like a gray then take the overlay and turn that white so it's still going to be the same material leather but we're going to uh, change the color on this one so the team color for this will be white so that way we get that pattern up and popping all right so now that's starting to look a little bit more like the jordan 3 uh so the underlay accent default the material um, is definitely gonna be let's see where are we at Nah, it's not going to be metal. It's going to be leather. All right, team colors. Again, that's going to be... Uh, surprisingly, as I'm looking at the three, it doesn't really have uh, that pattern, uh, that uh, composition pattern, So, uh, or the elephant pattern, I should rather say. So uh, let's see how we're going to do this. So maybe if we just back out. Go to, I don't know, maybe mesh. Nah, it's gonna, so default, let's do default, see what happens. Team colors, ah, it's still the same thing. Okay, so it doesn't matter what material it is, it's still gonna have that same elephant pattern uh, near uh, the eyelets. So we're just gonna take the leather and then just do the same exact thing uh, with the Jordan 3. Now, if you look at the Jordan 3, the UNC Jordan 3, the detail of it, it actually has like this mesh basketball shorts kind of a pattern. It has like small holes. So uh, you can't have that feature on here, but we're just going to try to match it as best as possible. So we're going to go back and we're going to do team colors again. And we're going to make this white. And then I guess we can just take since it's a literally all white for the underlaying accent, uh, we're just gonna do white again for that. And so that'll kind of substitute for uh, the elephant print. Now, now that we've got that underway, we're gonna do uh, leather for that and we're good. So it's starting to look like, a, like the Jordan 3, the UNC 3's here. So the airbag, however, if you look closely at it, uh, it's still kind of like a uh, like a gray. I almost still want to say this like a gray. So if we can actually turn this into a gray colorway, uh, of course. Uh, see how can I? Man, I'm going all over the world with these. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be a rubber. And the team color for that is going to be a light blue. Actually, nah, it's going to be gray. It's going to be gray. Okay, so now that we got it as like a charcoal gray here, which looks really good so far, now that we got that underway, we can move on to the midsole accent detail. Now, the midsole accent detail, team colors for that, um, going to have... See, where are we at? I 
Ah, the bottom of the shoe. So the bottom of the shoe is navy. So we'll take that. And that is going to be rubber. All right. And we can back out of that midsole accent, however. The material is going to be rubber. Now the colors, go back to the team color. It's going to be this powder blue here. Take that powder blue. It's in the back as well as... Uh, now on the sides here, um, see what we got going on. Midsole, team color. It's not going to be blue on this part. It's actually going to be white. So you take the white there. That's going to be rubber as well. The outsole accent is going to be rubber. Team colors again. And it's going to be white again. The outsole team colors again. It's not going to be any of these, but it's going to be a gray. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the palette. We're going to move it up a little bit more so that way it can be as accurate as possible. So it's about that shade of gray which looks pretty good. What you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Is that accurate? All right, so now uh, we can get started with finishing up the rest of this. So that material right there is going to be rubber for sure. All right, the base accent. We're gonna take the base accent and we're going to turn that into leather. And the color is going to be white. Base is going to be white as well. And ladies and gentlemen, do a little quick scale. I guess that we can tweak the blue uh, that's here. But let's see. Plastic, shiny metal, suede. This is leather. All right, so we got a leather shoe, an all leather shoe. And then now. For the heel logo, we're going to have to turn that into a navy, actually. Uh, the heel logo is going to be navy. Team colors. All right. And then the tongue, if you look closely at the tongue detail, that's going to be like a nice little off navy as well. So maybe if we take this, open up the palette for it, uh, move it up a little bit lighter. Let's see. That's the that's the heel logo. Sorry. <laughs> so tongue, tongue lining. That's what it is. Bow. So team colors again. The navy is gonna be boosted up just a little bit, like an off navy, just like that. And we have the Jordan three. The UNC Jordan threes, ladies and gentlemen, that came out March seventh, twenty twenty. At 10 a.m., whether you took a W or an L on getting the release, it came out. But let me know if this is accurate. Thank you guys for tuning in for today's episode of the 2K Sneaker Creator. This is Newt Gaming. If you enjoyed watching this video, uh, don't forget uh, to, to, to check me out again. And again, if you really like this video and like watching many of my other videos, you know exactly what to do. Make sure you share, like, comment, and subscribe and join the Newt Gaming crew. And thank you again for watching this episode. There will be more sneaker releases. We just did the pine green ones on the previous episode. Today we did the UNC 3s. And now I think I might do a little throwback that's actually going to be coming out this year, which is the Fire Red 5s. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.